Hey everybody, just wanted to circle back with everyone here. It's been about a year since I did my last video on the boat you see here, this 1240 low uh, little John boat with a PPF wood duck. Since I've done that video, I've got a lot of feedback from people wanting to know how it's performed. You know, that 40 inch bottom on a John boat is something relatively new in the past couple of years. It's always has been the biggest you can get on like a 12 or a 14 foot John boat is a 36 inch bottom. So I've had a lot of questions. How has this 40 inch bottom compared to like a 36 inch bottom? So I hunted this boat last fall uh, back home here in Wisconsin. And my main reason for purchasing this boat back in the summer of 2022 was to go into places that I couldn't get a big surface drive. I have a 1860 with a, a beaver tail surface drive. And the problem is with that is you can only get so shallow and I needed something that I could just handle myself and get into some really skinny stuff. So I came across this 1240 John boat, uh, this low last summer, and I already had a PPF wood duck. So it was kind of a perfect combination. So I hunted it all last fall here in Wisconsin. I made a trip out to North Dakota with it. And let me tell you, it is one wicked little shallow water machine. You know, especially for one or two guys, a dog and kind of some minimal gear, you can pretty much go anywhere you want. As you can see here, I'm in knee deep water. This is about the deepest water in this marsh is right here. Everything else is about shin to knee deep. And this little boat performs awesome. It uh, really can kind of go anywhere you want. It, it have plenty of power with this PPF wood duck. This is the uh, Harbor Freight motor. It's the kind of their, their entry level motor. You can get a Honda or a Briggs and then team it up with the PPF outdrive. And I love this motor. It really has a lot of power, can kind of get, get you into some really shallow stuff. And what's nice is it doesn't have that super long tail compared to a lot of other, uh, what I call suitcase mud motors. It's really portable. I think it comes in just around 50 pounds and I can swivel it around in the boat and I can throw this thing in the back of my truck. But I do have a little trailer for it as well um, that I'll throw it on because it is kind of a little bit of a challenge to put in the back of your truck by yourself. But all in all, it's been a really fun boat to hunt out of. Like I said, you can really kind of go anywhere with this boat. I mean, I was running in this particular marsh right here. I was running in water that was just over, just over my shins, and that's about eight inches. And I was clipping right along. It does really well in like the foliage and, and the weeds and stuff. It can really tear through them really well. So I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I use it out in North Dakota as well on some small sloughs. The one thing I'll tell people is, is, is this type of boat shouldn't be kind of like your go-to duck boat. It, it, it fits a very particular niche. It's not a boat that you're going to go up big rivers or cross big bodies of water. I mean, quite frankly, I wouldn't recommend taking this boat anywhere that's over your head just for the sheer fact of, yeah, it's pretty stable, but it's not stable like a 60 inch bottom boat or even a 50 inch bottom boat. It's still a little tippy, but it's, it's way better than its, its predecessors of like a 30 or a 36 inch bottom. But I've had a lot of fun with this, this boat, you know, the, this past fall. I actually got a couple particular hunts planned for it, uh, taking it to a couple other small little wetlands and it just beats walking. You know, you can really kind of carry, carry all your stuff in here. There's plenty of room. You know, I hunted it last fall with two guys, a dog and about two dozen decoys. We each had our Yeti go boxes and our guns and uh, it worked really well. So it definitely fits a very particular kind of niche for a waterfall hunter. I've been pretty happy with it, just kind of in the, the, the one season that I've had with it. Um, and I'm looking forward to using it a lot more. But if you wanna check out kind of the, the introduction video, I'll post that in the description below and you can kind of see kind of when I picked this up and, and my rationale for kind of getting it. But Overall, really happy with it. The PPF Wood Duck is, a, is, is the perfect motor for this boat. It, it honestly is. It's, it's almost like this motor was designed for this particular boat. Um, you can go anywhere and it'll push you right along, no problem. I get about, with me and the dog, about 12 to 15 miles an hour, just kind of depending upon what you have in the boat. So all in all, it was a pretty good boat and uh, really looking forward to this duck season. Take care, everyone.